Did you know that you can bring your relatives to Uruguay if you have a study permit or work permit in the country? Yes, you can. All you need is a Uruguay family reunification visa. This visa allows you to bring family members to live in Uruguay as long as you are allowed to live in the country. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. Many of you contacted us and requested a visa for a Uruguay family reunification visa. In this video, I will talk about the requirements, the application process, fees, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is better than right now. Do it so you can stay updated on visas and also get a surprise at the end of this video. Well, let's go. What is Uruguay Family Reunification Visa? Let's see. The foreign nationals who live in Uruguay under a residence permit have permission to bring their spouses, law partners, and children to the country. Pay attention, you need to have a study permit or work permit. For the rest of your relatives, you need permission from the authorities. What are the required documents for a Uruguay family visa? The list of requirements for a Uruguay family reunification visa may vary by the country you reside in. Also, the Uruguay officials could ask for further documents. First, let's talk about the documents you need to provide. Number one, proof of relationship. You need to provide a birth certificate or marriage certificate to prove the legal relationship. Number two, immigration status. You need to provide proof of legal residency status. It could be a study permit or a work permit. Number three, proof of having enough funds. You need to have enough money to cover the expenses of the person moving to Uruguay. Pay slips or bank statements are good. Number four, proof of accommodation. Your house or apartment must have enough space so people can live in it. Number five, invitation letter. You need to write a letter and explain the process of bringing your relatives to the country. You should explain who the applicant is, your relationship with them, the date he or she will enter Uruguay, your financial means to support them, your accommodation, your address, and your residential status. Now, let's look at the documents your relative must provide. Number one, clean record certificate. Your relative needs a certificate from the police or judiciary officials proving they have no criminal background. Number two, the application form. Your relative needs to apply for a Uruguay family visa at an embassy. Number three, photos. Two photos of the applicants are needed. They must be not older than three months. The applicant's face must cover 60 to 70% of the photo. Number four, passport. Your relative must have a valid passport that is valid for at least six months to a year. The passport cannot be older than 10 years. Minors need to present a copy and English translation of their birth certificate, adoption certificate, or custody decree. Also, if parents are divorced or one of them is dead, the divorce or death certificates are required. How to apply for a Uruguay family visa? Step one, check if you're eligible for a Uruguay family visa. You, as the host, must have enough funds to cover the expenses for the relative. Also, it is necessary to provide proof or evidence to prove the family relationships. You need to have appropriate and enough accommodation for your relative. Step two, receiving approval from the Uruguay authorities. You, as the host, need to receive the approval of the immigration officials. You need to apply to the authorities and provide the necessary documents. Your relatives residing in a foreign country and you need to exchange documents to provide whatever the officials need. When the Uruguay immigration officials approve that your relative can come, they inform the Uruguay embassy in their countries. Congratulations, now the application for a Uruguay family reunification visa can begin. Step three, gathering the supporting documents. 
the Uruguay embassy requires a list of supporting documents to issue the visa. You and your relative living abroad need to provide those documents. You need to be in contact exchange information and keep the application status updated. Step 4. Completing the application form. Your relative needs to receive the application form from the embassy website and complete it with care. The information they put in must be the same as their documents. Really important. When your relative completes the form, he or she must print the form then date and sign it. Step 5. Scheduling a visa meeting and attending it. Your relative must book a meeting with the embassy to submit the requirements. They need to schedule a date that suits their timing. It is really important that your relative attends the meeting on the exact date and time and not be late. Step 6. Attending the visa interview session with the embassy. When the time of the embassy meeting comes, your relative must attend it in person. He or she must bring all of the documents and submit them to the officials. Don't forget that there is an obligatory fee for visa processing that must be paid. When the visa is ready, the officials inform your relative to pick it up or post it to them. Step 7. Moving to Uruguay and applying for a residence permit. When your relative receives the visa, they can move to Uruguay. This visa is valid for only one month and your relative needs to apply for a residence permit. Your relative must visit the local immigration officials and submit some requirements so they can receive the residence permit. This permit states how long they can stay in the country. Here's a question. How long is the Uruguay family visa valid? The Uruguay family visa is valid for only one month. You and your relative have one month to apply for a residence permit. Here's another question. How long is the Uruguay family visa processing time? The processing time for Uruguay family visa is up to several factors. First, the relative residing in Uruguay needs to receive verification by immigration officials. Then, the applicant living abroad needs to apply for a visa. The application process takes time and the processing time for the visa could take for more than one month. Another question, how much is the Uruguay family visa fee? The fee for a Uruguay family visa is approximately $45. However, the fee could vary depending on the country of submission and your nationality. Also, the officials might provide further services and require a further fee for the processing. Well, there you go. Now you're gonna start your application and get a Uruguay family visa. Now, about that surprise. If the steps were so confusing, don't worry. I put a cheat sheet on our website. Go ahead and download it. Link in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the description and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.